hello youtube in this uh, video we are going to learn uh, in this video we are going to learn active active and active passive uh, cluster configuration overview uh, and we will be talking about active active uh, active active and active passive uh, uh, cluster configuration in general and we will be talking about active 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 passive cluster configuration when it comes to application like sql server and uh, ms cluster i have drawn uh, something uh, to make you understand between more i um, uh, uh, i uh, um, yeah, I hope this is gonna help you. Um, I hope you to understand the basic idea about uh, active, active, and active passive uh, cluster configuration, and also uh, comes to SQL Server, which we'll be talking about in little bit. So first, all, let's talk about the active and active configuration. When we think about active, active configuration, the idea comes in mind that everything is active. So uh, that is the first big picture when we talk about active, active, active uh, cluster configuration. Uh, active, active cluster configuration. So um, cluster means uh, active means a lot of self configuration put together and they have uh, communication. So they are in uh, uh, one container. And I just give uh, give you uh, give an example. Uh, just one container. So after the first picture, I tell active, active configuration. We have uh, five server. Um, each server is running its own application right here and uh, however uh, they do have uh, communication among each other right here so uh, what happened uh, the first property uh, active active configuration that ends out if one of these server uh, goes down right here in this picture either um, I'm going down so let's take an, uh, let's take an example of this, uh, this server right here uh, this is server this is server 1 this is server 2 this is server 4 and uh, 5 mm, so uh, server 1 is going down and it says that hey I'm going down and uh, uh, let's say level, uh, server uh, uh, let's say server 1 is running uh, two application and so all this server 2 3 4 and 5 they are up and running and they tell the server each okay and if you're going down we're going to go ahead and take over what you are running that means that couple of application this server once running uh, is going to this server 2 3 4 5 they are going to take over on that application now uh, here uh, when we think about uh, taking over two three four five server uh, going to take over the couple application that server wants on uh, that server that application which uh, uh, on one is running uh, might think that oh basically uh, it is fail over so uh, all this application server one was running it's failing over uh, 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 basically uh, kept uh, come to active active configuration this will be a property I am talking about it's not really the case uh, back behind the scene what happened is the application A and the application B A, this server share the responsi responsibility so uh, mm, failover will define that okay okay OS, uh, if server 1 goes down and uh, server 2 go ahead and take over uh, both application on server 1 that would be the fail over but that will be hmm, specifying right here that server 2 is going to uh, take over but however in active active configuration what happen is uh, when it goes down and two application are available for all these four server they communicate with each other and they say okay hmm, this server uh, this is a number two right here it's i don't have uh, i don't have the much physical uh, resources that i can run the application uh, which was uh, running in application uh, in node 1 <coughs> So, uh, so it communicate with server 3, 4 and 5 and says uh, do you have some physical resources that you can take over the at least one application that's coming from server 1 which has gone down. So and uh, server 3 or 4 and 5 says okay yeah I, I got some resources uh, for server so says send one application towards me. I will run that application and have it available <coughs> for our users to run. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Uh, it was running so uh, so far let go ahead and uh, run is application so uh, they are sharing all the information they are communicating each other uh, and uh, they are telling their server is okay if you go down and all we will take over in your application now this drive uh, to another scenario let's say that they had decided 
they have decided that they are going to run those couple of application that come from server one now this scenario is comes in that picture uh, this is the second property a standout when you talk about active active configuration of here uh, when uh, i was talking about that um, this server is uh, i need some ram if you want if you want me uh, run one application uh, fine from uh, that that's uh, were coming from server one I need some physical resources could you please lend me some RAM or some CPU that I could go ahead and uh, mainly it can run on me but uh, since this uh, have a heavy application this is coming uh, from busy production I need some physical resources to run it efficiently server C says sure I got some RAM you can use uh, some of my resources even though I am not the main person to run this application but I will share my resources with you but in in second property what we learn active active configuration is that uh, they share the physical resources and have all those application running this is the basic idea I am not talking about what uh, technically goes behind configuration would be technically uh, when I do the demo you will see the uh, technical configuration we need to uh, do the in order to in order for it to be have an active active and configuration so but I want to mention you that you understand the idea of active active cluster configuration when it comes to a lot of people talk about active active and active passive configuration especially one when you go in SQL server uh, interview uh, this is the uh, one of the question that do you know how to configure active active uh, um, act what exactly uh, active active configuration in cluster and what is what is active and passive configuration so basic basic behind idea uh, is when the active active configuration is basically these two property according to my experience they stand out and I wanted to make sure that you understand that that so I do the picture right here and you take a look uh, the picture the server is saying I am going down and uh, one property uh, a property um, that I am talking uh, that I am talking is ten hours uh, about active active configuration it's a take over like this and then after that the second property even though they took over but they still share the physical resources they share the load now, mm, now the active active configuration back behind the scenes technically nowadays their load balancer uh, on the network and all that accomplish that active active com uh, configuration in different way uh, now uh, let's talk about an active passive configuration if you look at this picture we have couple server application a is running on server a application b is running on server b so these two server are running the one application and now we have defined as we talking uh, active active configuration right here number two uh, we talk about failover so um, when failover happened uh, um, we have defined another server that is um, setting right here and it will take over uh, we have defined the application a fail this server goes down right here it's gonna go over there if you, this server goes down it failover is go failover is going to happen and over there so um, let's say that every fail is functional and active and passive so what happened right here this server is running on application this and was on application and now this server is right here look at this what is saying it I am saying sitting here to doing nothing what it it, it is really true uh, because uh, failover uh, um, scenario this server is not doing anything the physical resources on this server are kind of setting idle just waiting for one of this application will uh, both server uh, you know uh, waiting for them go down and uh, taking over so um, as uh, as soon as failover happen then this can uh, take over but uh, is everything is okay working right this is the scenario of active passive uh, cluster configuration that these are active and these are uh, passive uh, this is the passive and passive is sitting uh, sitting right there and doing nothing is everything okay but as soon as uh, one of the server is goes to go down uh, then um, this guy become active all the setting he have copy and is okay and ready to take over the resources and our application right here in our active passive scenario so now let's uh, talk about uh, SQL Server. So how can we understand what it comes to SQL Server and MS clustering when you talk about active, 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 active and active, passive? Active, passive is uh, really mm, very simple. 
uh, the configuration as per as uh, I wanted to let you know that uh, uh, there is no hardened uh, pass uh, SQL server goes you can make uh, active 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 and active passive uh, not much configuration needs to be changed only slightly hmm, same need, needs to be changed and uh, depends on your scenario so let's talk about active uh, active passive in terms of SQL I install uh, one instance of SQL server right here and uh, um, I say that uh, okay uh, SQL the SQL instance is running uh, a on this server and I define right here uh, there's uh, this is the three node let's say this is the three node I define that okay you know what uh, uh, active uh, this is active passive uh, as soon as um, a server is go goes down uh, this instance is gonna come up on this server so uh, and the same way another instance is right here uh, in application B is running or the SQL server is going B instance B is running is gonna come over here so most of the time uh, in uh, in uh, lots of organization but we do uh, we have two no cluster what we mm, define in that uh, in what we uh, define in two node cluster we define the uh, uh, this part so uh, in active active uh, now I have just one instance uh, what I do I, I as I install an instance right here make this guy active and make this guy has pa this guy passive in first scenario we have just one instance and the same active passive this guy sitting idle and not doing anything as long as the server A is running right here everything is running so active passive is uh, mm, uh, taking place at this moment let's talk about uh, active active when does it become active active uh, now uh, as a uh, mm, depends on the scenario let's say we have SQL server instance A and uh, th there is a requirement of having instance another instance B um, now we have an option we uh, we have lot of resources on this server we go ahead and put another instance of SQL server uh, on server A let me put it uh, mm, put it uh, let's do that uh, so mm, uh, we can go ahead and pu go put both instances uh, that make it active and passive so let's uh, talk about like uh, um, we can make it active active so when it comes to SQL server and we wanted to make it active active uh, what happen is uh, we say okay mm, let me install uh, I instance A and uh, server 1 and I will uh, install instance B on server 2 so right here uh, so uh, when uh, everything is working server 2 server 2 is busy server 1 is busy and taking care of own application so at that time uh, what we say that is active active so uh, when uh, uh, this is the um, instance B is running on server 2 instance A is running on server 1 so now when we define active active configuration it's a just a big picture that you're looking at this is called the active active because they are taking care of own resources in you know, you know this guy is not uh, setting idle and uh, just waiting uh, we're just waiting for uh, the, the failover uh, but in back behind the scene what we do as uh, it comes to SQL server we make these two server uh, of each other fail over so if server 2, two goes down uh, it's gonna fail over to server 1 is server uh, server 1 is uh, gonna take over uh, the all take over all the resources which uh, uh, all the application which which was um, running in a server 2 in the instance uh, gonna start running that so the uh, same with server a if uh, if uh, server a goes down instance a will be fail over to uh, right here so but uh, as I just say that there little bit configuration uh, used to be made to in order to make uh, me make a, as a school about how to comes to um, active active to make uh, to make active active configuration basically one is that we define uh, um, prepared node uh, where, um, uh, uh, we can prepare note you have a look that I, I will do the demo you will understand a bit more uh, I will uh, install basically two instances on two different nodes and make them active active and one other configuration then I will do it preferred node in preferred node is instance a is prepared node uh, is one I define that okay uh, one is uh, prefer preferred node and of instance a SQL server instance A. 
so let's say server 1 goes down and uh, server 2 takes over on instance a and it's also running instance b right here so uh, when if i define that a is basically instance that who who that uh, whose preferred node is one as soon as this node comes up we have defined that as soon as uh, you know a fail automatic fail over is enabled on that if they constantly communicate to each other and when it sees that uh, server one is come came online it says okay hey i cannot run you uh, you can i cannot run you now anymore your server is up so go back it fails back to server one this is how it remember that as soon as uh, uh, my server is up i'm going going to run on my own server so even though now since i write here my server is down and uh, server 2 is responsible for running both instances but if you have the preferred node and automatic failover as soon as server 1 uh, comes online and it is gonna go back to server 1 and both start running their own application that it's same thing happens as uh, in instance 2 or instance b uh, sorry uh, on server 2 uh, i just wanted to make sure that we understand the concept behind general active active configuration and active passive configuration and uh, how we define as a SQL server that we call it all active active and active passive configuration you can basically uh, back behind the scene to active and passive uh, configuration makes it uh, kind of active active x as per I, as to uh, instance co concept goes and i hope this uh, little demo i am going to go ahead and basically perform technically uh, in my little little videos install sql server one instance and one node and other other instance and other node and make make those, those instance and fa fail over and on then also change the um, preferred node setting and uh, sure show you in live demo that's uh, when server is comes up uh, the other instance uh, instance sql server goes to run on or server one because server one is preferred node so instance a it i automatically go ahead and fail over and uh, go on its uh, server server this is how uh, we do it uh, basically sql server uh, so thank you thank you for watching don't forget uh, don't forget to